I've kept very updated and aware with what's happening in Overwatch and Overwatch 2, surrounding its news, and of course the mass hate it's getting on Steam. I mean, the only good review you can find on Steam is a review linking back to Team Fortress 2. But I've also kept up with the drama. A lot of people are saying that this is just a hate bomb and it's undeserved. People are still defending Overwatch 2. Actually, it happens in my own comments. Now, when it comes to this channel, I've taken a massive break and I'm not exactly sure what's left for me. The passion and love I had for Overwatch died off a long time ago and got reignited for a moment with Overwatch 2 as I decided to give the game the benefit of the doubt. I had some hope. While I had a lot of problems, I had some hope. But as time has passed, it it's just gone more and more downhill. I don't even know if Overwatch 2 will survive. Now, I don't think it's going to die. There always will be a niche, and the game outstanding on its own is quite polished. It has a unique gameplay, it has unique world, it has unique characters, but still, even Blizzard themselves have admitted to their investors the game is dying, or at least the players, are on the decline. But all of that doesn't mean much. If you're someone who opens up this game and enjoys it, it's okay. You don't deserve hate as a player. But for some reason, this mass hate on Steam has affected these players individually. At least they're the most outspoken. The people on Twitter or other social medias defending the fact that Overwatch is getting hate bombed instead of it being real criticism are just players who are enjoying the game. And it's not wrong to enjoy the game, not even close. Hell, after the new hero got released, I decided to hop in, and thanks to the little game mode, I was able to try her out, and she's probably one of the most fun heroes literally released in Overwatch for a long time. She's very enjoyable. But then when I wanted to try the newest game mode with her, I couldn't select her because I forgot that she was locked behind a fucking paywall. Personally, I haven't played this game for a long time. I haven't made many videos this summer because I don't like to pretend. If I'm not passionate about it, I'm going to take a step back. And when I was making a little bit of hateful videos like this one, I was still passionate about that hate because I'm like, Blizzard can still improve this. But what now? What is left? Blizzard has played all their cards. We have PvE. I have watched the gameplay. I have watched the cutscenes. And man, oh man, are those cutscenes a little bit of a play on the heartstrings because it is what Overwatch could have been. But it's not what it is. Instead, it's just archives. The first thing, I, the first reaction I ever had when they when they changed direction on PVE, I said it was archives. It's exactly what happened. It has been released and it is archives. But we used to get it for free, and now you got a chalk up. I didn't pay. I haven't paid a single dime to this game since release because I didn't trust them, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm really glad I didn't. I didn't buy a hero. I didn't buy a battle pass. I haven't bought a skin and I haven't bought PvE. I just watched other creators like J3 play it and they have quite the positive attitude. Uh, the best thing about Overwatch is some of its creators and some of its community, to be honest. I gotta give you guys massive credit to everyone. Everyone who plays this game still, everyone who still has a positive outlook, and everyone who can still find enjoyment in it like their creators. Because it is beyond impressive to me. I was watching and basically crying inside like... It's so lame. It's bad. It's bad. It's it's bad. Outside its cutscenes and, and the sadness of what Overwatch could have been, it is extremely sad. No replayability, no replay value. Is it worth your money? Objectively, no, it's not. But people will compare it to a skin and might be able to buy it. But you guys know all this already. Blizzard's shady and nothing's going to change. It's a quick cash infusion that they're looking for. And I don't think Overwatch is going to stay its primary focus for long. It already isn't its primary focus. Overwatch League is dead. That's a huge part of the game's culture. Gone. The competitive nature of it just disintegrated. <laughs> it's lost its value. And over time, it'll lose that side of its player. It'll lose that part of its niche. It's still fresh off the chopping block right now, but it's going to rot. So where does that leave this game? Well, it's a little bit of a weird analogy, but think of it like a really old house. It's falling apart and the developers are trying to renovate it, but they just keep cutting corners. Let's pretend the door is creaking and literally about to fall apart. Instead of replacing that door, they just throw a new coat of paint and call it a day. That's like what happened with PvE, right? They could have just stuck to Overwatch 1, kept up with archive events, released new heroes, and kept that old style of monetization, and this game would be thriving. I would put some good money on it. If they just didn't pivot the way they did and then it all fell apart, we wouldn't be here today. And it's that accumulation of misstep after misstep. First 
the content route with absolutely no communication in sight, followed by the absolute hype that's supposed to be Overwatch 2, and then being stuck in development hell just to realize that all these years they did nearly nothing. Everything they accomplished came out nearly worthless. Those are where the reviews are coming from. Those are the quote-unquote hate bombs people are claiming. It's not a hate bomb, it's pent up frustration for good reason. In the end, you might believe that Overwatch is amazing. They even said that, what did they say? It's out of beta or something like that? They claimed it's out of beta because this season was the biggest content drop yet. Well, you know what? Other than the new game mode and the new hero, it doesn't feel too much like it. It's still the same Overwatch and it's their big claim to fame. It's the PvE that they hyped. It's the biggest drop yet. It's supposed to just have so much stuff. 80% of it is like cosmetic and like all the good stuff are locked behind a paywall. Like, what do you expect? What do you expect? And for everyone saying they're enjoying it, for everyone saying, no, no, it's reviving Overwatch, go ahead and use Google Trends because the most amount of interest was the release of Overwatch 2. And then following that, each new peak and point was lower. Kiriko, Kiriko has more search volume right now than the newest hero. I don't even know her name. And apparently there's this huge marketing campaign. It's not, it's not mattering. It's going through people's, it's going in one ear and out the other. It's like, oh, it's Overwatch. That's it, the image is gone. The hype is gone. And regenerating it now is such an uphill battle that I think Blizzard would have to work miracles for this game to even be close to good anymore. I've lost hope. I've lost passion. This might be the last video I even make on this channel and I know no one cares, but as a content creator and still a full-time content creator with all my other channels, I still enjoy topics. I enjoy discussing. I enjoy just getting my opinion out there. And I know a lot of you share this same frustration, but anyways, good luck to the Overwatch community and goodbye.